guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we're going to cross are you excited come you're stood in the way you're in front of the camera thank you now you're tailing so um i'm actually filming this on monday having spent the weekend at crafts i also went for you enjoying that scratch? Went for a nice spa day with some friends. So uh, yes, it is Monday the day I'm filming this. It's delivery day. We've just had a delivery which I'm going to unbox with you first. And then I'm going to throw it back to Friday where we kickstart things for the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. Thumbs up if you're a fan. Let me know in the comments below if you want more vlogs like this. And let's... Wow. <laughs> let's share with you what has just been delivered. This part of today's video is very kindly sponsored by, of course, HelloFresh, one of my absolute favorite sponsorships here on this channel because I'm a foodie. We're actually foodies. Both myself and Tom are big food lovers and we love getting HelloFresh for convenience. It's so easy. It delivers straight to your door. There's no need to decide what you want and go out and about and having to do a food shop there's also minimal waste and it's honestly just a really easy solution that is so straightforward to set up and use it's a subscription service that you can cancel at any time and i do have a discount code which is a very generous of them because you get 60 percent off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes when you use the discount code FREYA60. So 60% off your first box, you really can't beat that. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'm sure you will. I'm just gonna share with you the recipes that I've gone for this week. You can set to how many um, people it's for. So if you've got like a family of four, if you're like me, it's just like uh, myself and Tom, just two of us. You can also state how many days that you want the delivery for. So I think we do it three, we get three meals, three or four meals. Again, you can switch that up on the online portal really easily if you decide that this week maybe you're away, you just wanna pause it for a bit, or if this week you are both in for five days of the week, you know that you're gonna get five meals worth, so you order all five. So yes, this week, Oh, these are the recipe cards. It's lunchtime, so I'm actually gonna make one of these. I ordered an extra add-on of this delicious salad. I have actually had this in the past. It's the goat's cheese and fig salad with rocket walnuts. I love walnuts. Let's you know the cooking time, which for this is just five minutes, super easy. The recipe, the instructions, and the breakdown of the ingredients. Each card is numbered as well, so you just find the corresponding bag with that number. So this one, 17, is four. This one, cheesy chipotle bean quesadillas. So I'm gonna pop all the food away. I just keep them in their bags. Pop the bits that need to be in the fridge in the fridge, everything else in the cupboard. And it's as easy as that. it's so sunny outside it literally feels like spring in fact i'm probably close to being able to dry my washing out on the line which makes me very happy uh, but yeah i've just finished my delicious salad from hello fresh those are nice fresh ingredients perfect for this spring i even remember loads last year from um like during the summer months we ordered like their barbecue options because we like to cook outside a lot. So yeah, I'm excited for the warmer months for the options with HelloFresh. But if you haven't yet tried it and have been thinking about it, I would suggest now is the time to do so, especially as you can take advantage of that 60% off your first box and 35% off your next three. Amazing. So Freya, 60, if you want to use it, I'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you to HelloFresh for kindly working with me on today's video. And now let's throw it back to Friday where we got ready, packed up and headed off to Crafts. It is all hands on deck at the house today with regards to the renovations. I'm actually excited to 
get you guys posted on that. I feel like we're doing a renovation vlog. <laughs> we'll start the extension, which is all very exciting. And the basement guys, by the end of today, they'll have finished all of the underpinning for the basement. Anyway, I'm just doing my makeup, just getting ready for the day, and I've already moisturized, so I'm gonna go in with my Clarins BB Cream. This Holy Grail product for mine. I'm so glad they brought it back. Someone did message me recently saying that it's been discontinued. Now, was that it had been discontinued or it's being discontinued again? Because if it is, I'm gonna be very upset about that. I'm gonna be very sad about it because it is such a good product for um like a bb cream it's pretty much like foundation coverage but let me just turn the brightness down i feel like it's turned up a bit there we go um i know i know they were reformulating something to do with the spf ages ago but hopefully and why well, i assumed that got sorted out so hopefully fingers crossed that is the case and they're not going to discontinue it again so we're very excited for crust. We're gonna have to set off later than anticipated because Tom does have a meeting that he can't miss today, which is unfortunate. But our main aim was to be there for the full day on the Saturday anyway. So it just might mean that depending on what time we get there, in regards to traffic and everything, we might not be able to go today at all, or we might just go for the last couple of hours, we'll see. Um, but tomorrow is what I'm excited for anyway, because they have the Golden Retriever show, which is so exciting. Uh, and then another thing I didn't realize, but dogs aren't um, allowed, like to get a general admission dog ticket, you just can't do. So the fact that Barney's been invited, feel very honored we're going with rudy and lou which is a friend's brand um she does like really luxury quality italian made collars and leads and that's who we use for barney's slip lead which can turn into a figure of eight i'm sure you'll have seen if you follow him on instagram oh my god my makeup's dropping all over the show you know he's strong it's more so like on a day-to-day -day basis he's fine i don't even pop it over his nose but it's when we um are in an area like somewhere like Crafts where it's going to be a lot going on for him, a lot of stimulation and excitement that that's when he tends to pull and then he just ends up like choking himself. It's horrible. So that's the main reason why we use it. But even just as a slip lead, it's so easy to just pop on his lead whenever we need to. And yeah, I won't be without it. So Rudy and Lou is the brand we're going with. Thanks for inviting us. I feel like there's something going on out there oh the big boy's out the big digger i think they're digging up the concrete foundations for the old extension ready for an inspection building inspectors to have a look at the ground for them to start digging out the footings but yeah all that in a separate vlog because not everyone's probably interested in that right i'm just going to use my chanel bronzer i find this with it being a cream product is nice and i don't know it gives a nice dewy finish watched um dragon's den and the apprentice last night i love a thursday night for my tv and we're down to on the apprentice what is usually the final five did anyone watch it where they had to create baby food spoiler alert if anyone hasn't seen it yet but they had to create a baby food and neither team got any sales so we ended up firing someone from both sides and um the famous final five for the final five interviews is now four because five people didn't make it and it's a women strong team in the final so that's exciting i love the interviews i think it's so funny does anyone else watch the apprentice i just love it and then Dragon's Den, oh my god, Stephen Bartlett is amazing on it. I just feel like he adds an extra dynamic to the show. I think he's done really, I think it's done probably done really well for the show. And it's funny when him and Tuka get in a bit of a tiff about social media and stuff. It is interesting though how the difference in the sort of generational gap between different forms of marketing and how Stephen would work versus someone like Tuka or someone who um, is a bit older. I just feel like 
in some instances they don't like it that Stephen does what he does like influence marketing and social media and everything and then in other senses they're like I'll split 50-50 with a dragon but only if it's Stephen <laughs> so they clearly think he knows what he's doing what else have we been watching you know we're still still yet to watch Peaky Blinders final season as well now this is the lip cheek charlotte tilbury and iconic nude and then on top of that i'm just going to go in with the Too faced lip injection i kissed tom the other night when we were out i popped a little bit on and then i kissed gave him a little peck and he went what's that thing on my lips it's tingling it's hurting so it does tingle a little bit but i kind of like the feeling feels nice yeah it's a lip plumping um lip gloss and then i'm just gonna set with nyx dewy finish setting spray oh another thing that we watched the boeing documentary on netflix which was quite interesting although it's made me apprehensive to fly again i'm not gonna lie um, and then we also watched the Louis through BBC documentary as well, which has been um, good. It's called, F is it Forbidding America or something? There's three episodes on BBC. They're all on catch up now. And um, yes, yeah, so we've watched all three of those. But yeah, love Louis through. I wish he did a, I wish he had a um, new documentary out every single week. I absolutely love watching his documentaries. Anyway. I'm all ready. I've just come here using the GHD curve. Just pop some oil through it and then some hairspray. And um, yeah, I feel like I need to get packing, although I don't really need to take much considering we're back tomorrow. And then we'll get on the road later on this afternoon, which is so exciting. I'm so excited. We're staying at a place called Arden Hotel, which is obviously dog friendly. They do have a swimming pool and sauna and steam room there as well. So might take a cosy just in case we pop in there. Um, I forgot my blusher. I was looking at my face then thinking something's missing. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the NARS Orgasm. Even though I've popped some setting spray on already. Never mind. Just look how much that like just pop of blush makes all the difference. I think anyway. Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see We made it to Birmingham. We are staying in the Arden Hotel. Shh, excuse me, please, sir. Um, this is our hotel room. This is Barney's makeshift bed. He never sleeps in his bed anyway. He just lies flat on the floor. So we just bought his blanket. This is our little hotel room for the night. But we're going to go straight to Cross now, make it there, spend the rest of the afternoon there, and then hit it full day tomorrow. We need to ask what time breakfast is actually. You excited? Yeah. Who has the best dog in the world? That guy. That, that grumble of pugs. <laughs> Did you know that? A group of pugs is called a grumble. Tom's fun fact. Let me just make sure I've got everything. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say was sleeping by my side What did I do last night? 
Smile for the cow. So this is Rudy and Lou, this is my friend Camille's business. This is what Barney's wearing today. The Bianca collar in lead, isn't it? Yes. Um, and honestly, it's just, look, you ready? Can't pull, so easy. Rudy and Lou, we'll leave them tagged. Thanks for having us. And let's go enjoy the show. Sit in the car with a feeling in our eyes. One is done. We had a good scope out of everything. Got a good idea of where everything is, I feel. There's one um, area in particular that I definitely want to go back to where you may have seen the cutest Gemma Shepherd puppy. Um, it's an area, it's so cool, but obviously because it was towards the end of the day, they'd already, a lot of them, the dogs had left, but it's an area where they have every single breed, like from all over the world, in their different sections with, I'll cut that out. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the hotel now. I think order some room service, chill out, put our feet up and get ready for a busy day ahead tomorrow. Barney, Barney, did you like it? Did you like it? Yeah. We may or may not have ordered a delivery. Is this like a taboo thing? If you're staying in a hotel to order delivery? Well, anyway, we did it. And Dad's gonna take you out for a last night wee before bed because Mummy's got her pajamas on. Isn't that right? Aww. <gasps> Don't do that. Tell him off, Barn. Get him. <laughs> We're gonna call it a night and we've got a busy day ahead of us tomorrow. So we'll see you at Crafts Day. Well, officially day three, but for us, day two. Yes. Hey look, could you be a show dog? Barney, sit. Speak. Oh, whisper. <laughs> Come on. Touch one, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Touch. <gasps> yeah, best in show goes to Barney the Great Golden. <laughs> That's cringing. That's cringing. <laughs> I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we made it We're at day two, we made it Something loud is going on so we're gonna just go scout around, have a look and see
Barney. Should we show everybody what we got from Crafts? There's one thing that he's eyeing up and he's very excited for, and it's this. This big boy that he was carrying through the halls. Wow! Oh! <laughs> That was from JR Products, I think it's called, and they basically just have a load of natural treats, which is essentially all we picked up. So Buffalo went to first, and we got him some long-lasting treats. They were on three for ten, so we got some pizzle sticks. If you don't know what these are, Google them. <laughs> Maybe don't. Some gullets and some um, trackers as well. They're just good little chews for him. So yeah, they were three for £10. Pounds. There was a wicker bed that I was eyeing up from this company, which is called Charlie Chow. I was looking at the oval grey wash basket in extra large, which you'll have seen on the blog. This was so generous of Essential Foods, a company that I liked the look of, and I thought, oh, I'll just grab a brochure. So I said, do you mind if I just grab a brochure? P.S. How nice does this brochure look? And she was like, yeah, of course, you can take one. And she said, actually, put that back. This bag, which by the way is full of treats, already has one in it. And she said, you can have the full lot for free. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Love this little brochure. How nice is this? All their different sort of treats that they do. Um, loads of information. Anyway, I'll have a flick through that this afternoon. So we opened this in the car for him to have a few. I didn't actually know what it was, just a superior living. A taste of nautical living. Another superior living one. Got an estate living, highland living. By the way, that golden retriever show absolutely melted my heart. I don't know if I got it on camera or not, but it was so funny right at the end. It, the best part about the show was when they messed up because that just sums up golden retrievers. And then right at the end, they all sort of came, formed a circle in the middle. The handlers all walked right out to the outside, lots clapping, everyone's saying, yay, well done, great show. The handlers turned around, looked at their dogs and said, come, and all the dogs ran over, so happy to see their owners, and the show was over. There was one dog sat in the middle that had clearly, his handler was there, and he was looking the other way when they all said, come, okay. And he was just sat there looking at all the other dogs running to their owners and then finally looked at his owner, saw that his owner was shouting at him and he just bolted over. It was the cutest thing ever. So he's munching away on that. This is from JR Pet Products, which I also picked up like pate, they call them. I just picked up the mini one just to try these in the wild boar. I think this was $1.99. And then we also, myself and Tom, I suppose, Tom actually bought these, but I might use them. They're from Ren, Renapure, 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 natural leather care for our shoes and do berries and boots and walking stuff, which is some like suede protectors and cleaners and all sorts. So yeah, that's everything that we got at the show. I just want to give one last massive thank you, myself and Barney. Thank Rudy and Lou for having us at Crufts today. It's honestly, the best time ever dream come true for any kind of dog owner going to crafts such good fun and being able to bring barney for me was the best part so thank you so so much to rudy and lou we're now back home feet up for the rest of the evening we've got spa day tomorrow which i'm so excited for i might even get up and go and maybe even just have a look at the gym <laughs> suss it out have a good swim. Booked in for a massage as well, which is gonna be lovely. And yeah, that's tomorrow's plans, which I think sums up, rounds up a lovely weekend. Really spontaneous as well. En route home, we went and did a bit of car shopping. Tom was having a quick look in Porsche and we also went via a Tessa, cause looking at potentially getting me an electric car and put a deposit down and bought one. So it's coming in May. I've got the new Tesla Y, which is so exciting because I was a bit skeptical at first about getting an electric car, but um, I've had a good sit down talk through the pros and cons. And honestly, for me, I just, I'm, I was worried about the boot size more than anything for the dog, but it's fine, plenty big enough. So yeah, I'm excited in May, I'm getting a new car. And yes, I've gone for white interior, call me crazy, with a muddy dog, but anyway. I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early, for spa day. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for.
wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said it's better this way I'm back from what was a lovely spa day. I mean spa afternoon. It's just getting to like early evening now. And um, I'm just gonna have, I think, a bit of a tidy up in here. Set the mood, get my PJs on, my comfies on. I need to actually make the bed because I washed the bed sheets this morning. What have you found under the sofa? What is it? Oh. 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 Go get it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up, I think. Light the candles, get cozy, get comfy. And maybe just uh, put on a series or something tonight and just chill out, I think. Head off Monday. I'm quite a fan of a Monday morning. Bit of a fresh start, nice day to just kind of like reset. I really enjoy Mondays. I think I might shower and wash my hair as well, actually, because I feel like it's dual hair wash. And when you're at the spa, it goes all like kind of greasy and all the oils and everything from your massage. nighttime routine that I've been enjoying recently with lighting the candles, setting an incense burner going in our bedroom, lighting all the lamps as well so that when we do come up to bed it's a really nice ambiance that you're walking into, especially with that incense burner. I have been loving it. Tom's always had one in his kind of top floor office and I've always been jealous of it so I thought I'm going to get more for the bedroom and I love it. It's from Etsy, I'll leave it linked below um, if anyone was interested but in fact loads of Etsy shops do things similar to that and um, yeah you can get loads of different designs. So yeah I thought I would mention that. I'm just going to pop on some of my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and Moisturiser for this evening. This is just like a trusty hero product of mine. I've used this for years now. Um, I like to just bring it down my neck as well, which is definitely something that I have realised that I need to do more of. Moisturise my neck. <laughs> I 
And then another thing that I actually used in the shower as a sort of cleanser was this new, well I say new product, it was sent to me in a PR package of which um, it's a brand new item, but I have had it before, I've owned it before and I loved it. So it's from Clinique, the actual cleansing balm is called the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is what it looks like and you literally just get kind of like a small pea sized amount, maybe a little bit bigger than a pea sized amount and then just use the warmth in your hands to warm it up and it kind of turns into like a balm, it's lovely. So that came in this PR package. And there's also another product that I was really keen to try in here. So it came with the nighttime, daytime routine. Nighttime was obviously the take the day off, but it also comes with this high impact lash serum, which I'm gonna try, start using and see if it makes a difference. And then just to mention what else is in here, the high impact zero gravity mascara, quick liner for brows, I'm really excited to try it. It's a super micro fine, um top which i love and it comes with the spoolie on the end and then the liquid liner which i personally don't use liquid liner so i'll leave that away but this is what i was particularly excited to try if i just show you what it looks like first of all and then let's try this together i'm assuming like it's just a lash serum that you use every single day or oh, my hands are slippy because of the moisturizer i've just used oh okay so it's like here the actual nib is almost like what you would apply your lipstick or lip gloss with oh i've got some moisturizer in my eyebrow so i'm just gonna kind of run this along my lash line and then also i'm gonna pop a bit in my brows as well because i tend to whenever i have been using a lash serum in the past which i haven't for a long while actually I do tend to just use it in my brows as well because I have quite fine eyebrows. I don't pluck them or anything. So if anything, I encourage them to grow a little bit. So yeah, I will keep using this and let you guys know what I think of that. I'm making dinner downstairs. He is making one of the Hello Fresh boxes. Make sure to take advantage of the discount code that I have with them. Don't forget it gets you 60% off your first box and 35% off your next consecutive three boxes. I feel like at any moment. So this makeshift tripod that I have is gonna fall over. So I'm gonna end this vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye guys.